Is Amazon one of your frequently visited sites? In this Lenten video series, I want to look at technological vices. Things that we do with technology that maybe we mindlessly do, but in reality aren't the best things to do with technology. I'm speaking from experience when I talk about these vices. And I also want to look at virtues, things that we can do in place of those vices. And so today I want to look at impulse buying. One thing that I've noticed on not just television, but on our computer, on our phones, uh, even when checking email, ads just show up wherever and whenever. And what's scary is that our computers, our devices, know exactly what we're looking for because we search for those things or we show an interest in something. And so ads will show up that are catered specifically to us to get us to buy something. Now that's a whole other thing. That's, that's a whole other topic. But what I want to look at is the impulse buy. Because it's good for us to make purchases. You know, we, we need to buy things to better our lives or the lives of others. And so it makes sense that we would have the opportunity to make those purchases online. So I'm not poo-pooing that technological uh, ability. It's looking at the impulse that we see it and we get it and we click buy. And we say, oh, this, someone else has liked this too. And, and they, they say that I could like this too, so let me buy that while I'm at it. Um, the impulse buy is not as well thought out. It's not as great of a, a use of our money. And it's not as prudent. So the next time you find yourself in that impulse buy temptation, think of the poor. Think of those who cannot make such a purchase, who don't have the means to do so and offer that up for them. Rather than uh, satisfying a, a quick impulse buy, sacrifice what you would have purchased and say a prayer for the poor. Things to think about as we go about our lives on technology. How we can really pursue virtue even in the midst of our day-to-day -day lives. May the Lord give you His peace.